Okay, so I was told I needed videos with hop. So I've got Wembley's Easter Egg, the Easter Beagle. I don't have any more hopping videos, so how about time hop? Is this what they mean? Hmm, maybe not. It's Tabitha from Shutterscape Creations, and I want to welcome you to the fifth and final stop of the Tis the Seasons video hop, um, sponsored by SVG Cuts. And if you have been following along, you've seen some amazing projects by um, Melody Lane and Crafts by Two, and then um, Nanny Rose of Crafting on the Dollar and Ian, the off-kilter crafter. So I am the final stop, and I have a wonderful project for you today. But before I get to the project, let's talk about the rules, or moreover, how you could win a prize by doing this hop. So if you've been following along, Melody's, Melody's video came out on Monday, and there's been one every day this week. Monday, November 17th was the start of this hop. And uh, today, when my video is over, there will be a link down below, and you need to have collected all the code words that each every one of us has had. Um, each of us has put a code word somewhere in our video, and at the end of my video, you will be able to go enter to win, and if you got all five code words correct, then you will be entered in a drawing to win one of five $20 svgcuts.com um, gift cards. If you've missed any of the stops, or you're just joining us, if you look in the description below, and you, you're going to probably have to click more because there's a lot of information down there, but um, click down below and look, and all the videos will be listed from Melody and Crafts by Two, and Nanny Rose and Ian, all of the videos uh, links are down below. So you need to follow along and get all your code words if you're just joining. There's only one entry per person and keep in mind that there's no way to go back in and edit your entry so make sure all your code words are correct before you click submit. Beginning tomorrow, November 22nd, we will have a short hangout every night until the 26th to draw the five winners of the $20 svgcuts.com gift cards. In addition to the five $20 gift certificates, SVG Cuts has generously given us a big shot to give away. Woo! Isn't that amazing? Yay! On November 27th, we will pick a winner at random from all the entries who have entered their codes incorrectly. And everybody who has correctly entered their code words is a winner! If you have entered all your code words incorrectly, on November 27th, we will email you a special discount code to get 25% off your purchase at svgcuts.com. Coupon offer is only good for November 27th and 28th, so make sure you head on over to svgcuts.com and start making your wish list. I love the SVG Cuts files. They are fantastic. The instructions that come with it are amazing. They do so much work to make these files versatile so you could use them for just about anything. You can customize these to do just about anything you want. You don't have to do them just as the files are done. And I also love um, these detailed sheets that come with this. Um, I happen to print mine out. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. I'm going to print these out and put them in a binder to reference them later. Um, but they have all the like measurements and everything, S show you the colors that she used and all that. Um, in fact, I did a video to show you how to import those into your Windows 8 machine. There'll be a link below uh, for that. And if you have a Mac, there's a link below for the uh, video that Ian did to help you with that. So if you need help importing, check those out. But are you ready to see my project? It's so amazing. I did a coffee mug. It's a cool gift um, to give to somebody, maybe a teacher or something. And I actually used two different 
uh, files to make this. So I used a card file to create the poinsettias and I used an office one to create the coffee mug and inside I just put some goodies but let's head on over to the crafting table so we can see how I did this. All right, so here we are. I have all these pieces cut out and there's quite a few. Um, all these white pieces are for the lid. So we're gonna just set that aside for now. And these are for the cup itself. I've already started inking the edges here. I ink that top edge and I'll do the bottom edge as soon as um, I get done assembling it and then here is our band, and then these are the embellishments that are, um, this is all from Good Day at the Office, and then this is, these are from a, the Poinsettia Wreath card on Christmas Cheer, so um, I've already started kind of inking and sticking these together just so I could see how they would go, so let's go ahead and assemble this. So the first thing you want to do is, um, in Design Space, there's some little dotted lines here, and I left these as cut lines um, instead of changing them to score lines like I typically would for a card because the perforations actually make those teeth better, easier to put down. And then the other thing that you probably can't see on camera is there is some lines here, um, and that is where when you wrap this around, that's where you're gonna stop. So what I did is, it's a little harder to see on this green paper even, but I kind of feel where these are and I very lightly took a pencil and just sort of darkened them in a little bit just so that when I wrap it around I can see. So we're going to go ahead and this is curled a little from being on my mat so I'm going to sort of just help it along and I'm using my favorite glue. Um, this Tombow Mono Multi is my, my favorite go-to wet glue it doesn't wrinkle the paper all up and you just want to apply a somewhat liberal but somewhat thin strip and you want to go all the way to the edge where that line is just so that it gets a good seal and you line this up with those pencil marks that you darkened up And squeeze this together and let it get a good hold. You got a few seconds to go ahead and slide these if they're not quite where they were. And then I'm just going to put it down on my table and sort of give a good press along that seam. See how it goes? Yeah, there. See, nice seam. If I was puckered up a little bit, I could take a toothpick or something, put a little glue on a toothpick and stick it down in there. But uh, next thing we want to do is go ahead and stick these teeth all, fold all these to the inside pretty sharply because that gives you your nice clean edge of your cup. Um, and that Tombow dries super quick so it's already, I mean it may not be dry all the way but it's already taking hold so so all these teeth are here and I'm going to grab a sheet of scratch paper um, so that I don't mess up my table. But now you've got two circles, a solid circle and one with a hole in it. And the one with the hole in it goes inside as um, the liner. So the first thing we're going to do is, let's see, my inside of my cup is white. So I'm going to put the glue on here and we're just going to go around the edge here. A somewhat thick line but not too thick. Um, you, you don't want it to go much thicker than those teeth are. And you're going to put the bottom piece on so that'll hold it down a little. And then you just slide this down inside there and sort of run your finger along in there. Um, I've taken sometimes a bone folder if I can't and just run it along the inside edge. And the reason you protected your work surface is because you got glue on there. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply glue all along here, going all the way to the edge. And put this down on top of here. Just making sure to line up the edges and once you got it good and lined up you could lay it down and take your bone folder again 
and sort of press along in there or use your fingers and push it down in. Um, mine got stuck to the glue that was on my table. And that is your cup. Very simple, very easy. Um, I'm going to take my black and I had darkened the edges here with my black and now I'm just going to go ahead and finish the bottom edge now that it's done so that it looks the same. This paper pack that I'm using um, is from Close to My Heart. It's called Yuletide Carol. Um, it's really a beautiful uh, paper pack. It's um, very traditional Christmas colors, deep jewel tones and stuff. Um, I'll have a link in my description below uh, to my site, my Close to My Heart site. You're, if you're interested in getting this paper, it's really pretty. And then I also am using all Close to My Heart uh, inks. These all coordinate with those papers. So I have black, New England Ivy, Desert Sand, and Ruby. And those are the colors that I'm using um, to ink up my edges. So there's my cup. I'm going to set it aside for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and do my band. Um, I'm going to move my sticky paper out of the way. This here also cuts some little lines, and you can't really see them, but they're, but they're there, and they're little lines to tell you where to wrap this around. But before I wrap that, I have this idea. I am going to put this gold shimmery trim on here before I wrap it around. So let me get my close to my heart scissors that are my favorites and measure out some tape and cut it down now I'm going to cut another piece for over here and I'm kind of overlapping because this circle is going to go on top of here so I want the, the ends to get hidden underneath so right about there it looks like got that off now so I can make sure that this lines up when it becomes a ring I'm gonna sort of line this up this way as if I was gluing it where's those lines okay and then I'm going to start my trim right there The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my little crimper and this will give this um, that edge or that crimp look like a corrugated coffee ring. Oop, really is. <laughs> Turn it the right way. Give it that way. So now we're going to wrap this piece around and add glue. So Hold this till it's on there and then you can see how that would go on there. So we didn't want to put our circle on first because it would want to pull it flat. So I put, I'm going to put my circle on after the fact. I'm going to put it on now. That's how that will look when that's on there. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and deal with my um, I want to deal with my little sign here, my little sentiment. So the stamp set I'm using is also from Close to My Heart. It is called Merry Merry Holiday. Uh, it's it's great. It's a wreath set, and I love this handwritten Merry Christmas. So I already have that on my block, and all the stamp sets come with this little foam pad. It just gives you a nice place to get a good impression and grab my black and stamp my Merry Christmas greeting. That just adds that little extra touch to it. And I'm going to mount that on top of there. I'm going to use my trusty ATG gun, my favorite tape runner adhesive. Okay, so there's that. 
and we'll probably mount that down here towards the bottom. Um, put it on some foam squares here. Give it a little flex. And I'm going to put it, I think, right about there. That should give me room to put my poinsettias on there. Okay, so there's that part. So all we have left to do with this is the poinsettias. And I've already made one, and I've started inking all the rest of these. I just need to ink these last couple, and then I'll show you what I did. pieces inked up and ready to go and all I did for this guy was I just started folding these up a little bit and just took each petal and folded it there they are all curled up I've got this one already done I'm going to grab um, I'm going to grab my glue and it goes, this little one goes on the top. So I'm just going to put a generous amount of glue and then uh, I meant to fold these up just a little bit, but I'm going to stick this in here and you just sort of spin this around until it looks like it's where you want it. And very last would be to take each of these pieces, put a generous amount of glue there and I'm just going to turn these until, yeah, that's the way I like it. I have these pearls that I got from Michael's. They're just, I think they were just in one of those front bins. Um, and I thought they would make great centers. So I have this uh, pickup tool. I'll use that if I need it. And they're fan this tool is fantastic for just sticking on those gems. Let me show you what I did. I'm gonna grab my scratch piece of paper again. And this one's already done, but I'm just gonna take this mini mister. I've mixed it with some water and some um, pearl, perfect pearls, pearl colored. And I've made this sort of pearlized water. Uh, I learned this trick from Jennifer McGuire. I've seen her use it before. So I'm just going to, you want to be real careful because this is water and it will curl that paper. And it also, the other thing it likes to do is it wants to straighten out your petals that you took all that time to curl because they got wet. But while they're wet, you can grab them and just sort of give them another little pinch. Here we go. We've got three poinsettias. Okay, so now we're going to start on our lid. Let me just uh, ink this up real quick. I'm going to use green this time. This is an inside piece. So see the inside, it has the ring in it. Typically with her files, um, if it's ring like that, it's an inside liner piece. And then these are the top. And then this long strip and these three rings are the bottom part of the coffee cup so or coffee lid so I'll show you on my other one this is the top piece which is this short piece and the liners on the inside with those pieces on top and then these are for the other piece so I will need this New England Ivy, Ivy again but for now I'm going to put it away so the first thing we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece on and then I'm going to take this piece and here again the Cricut could have scored this but I wanted it to cut it because um, the perforations make it easy to get a nice sharp cut on here and there's little dash lines here so you know where to line up your paper so we put glue on this tab and you just wrap this around and line it up with that line and then give it a good squeeze and hold it for a while or for a few seconds just give your glue a second to hold and I don't know if you can see but the ring kind of goes it's it's kind of sloped this way so it kind of fans out at the bottom this is the top part and the part that fans out is the bottom 
or if you can see this, these little teeth are longer than these teeth. So I kind of like to start by holding this so that they, it doesn't want to come apart. And these get the long teeth get folded to the inside. And you're going to want to bring back your scrap piece of paper because that's going to go down there. We're going to take this and put basically a ring of glue around this and put that down and push this in here and then just sort of go around in a circle pushing all of these things all those teeth down on that glue and then this goes on here now you want to watch because I've done this and made this mistake um, you want to watch there's a seam here so I probably don't want my mouth my part that's supposed to represent the mouthpiece to be right over that hole so I'm going to make it opposite and you just want to put glue on here or you could put glue along the edge here you just want to make sure you don't get it in the middle because there's a hole there <laughs> alrighty so there's the top part um, these teeth will get folded the opposite direction and then we're going to set these aside, set this aside and work on the bottom ring. And now we're going to work on this part. So once again, this has the same perforated line that your Cricut or whatever die cut machine you're using would, would have cut. And it's got a little line. So we just put glue on this tab up to that line. And these get folded in. We need our scratch paper again because now you have three rings. There's this one with the holes in it. I don't know if you can see those. Maybe let me move my scratch paper so you can see them. So this one has four holes in it. That goes on the inside here. And then these two, one is just slightly larger than the other, and it's really tricky to try and figure out <laughs> if I've grabbed the right ones. So first thing we're going to do is bring our scratch paper back over, and we're going to put a thin line of glue all along here. This goes down inside here. So now this piece goes inside here, like that. And now you gotta figure out which one of these rings goes on the top and which one goes on the inside. The inside one is usually the easier one to try and figure out because One of them is bigger. Ever so slightly. Now you want to take and put glue all along here. This little ring goes down inside there and it's a little tricky to get it in there. This piece goes on top of here. And I didn't pay attention to my seam, and my seam is now on my front. So, oh well. So the last step I'm going to do with the lid here, while that glue sort of sets up and dries, is I'm going to ink up these last couple ed edges that I couldn't do. There is my coffee cup lid. And now... The last thing we need to do is now that these poinsettia have dried and before I do that I think I'm going to go ahead and stick this um, ring onto the cup. So I think what I'm going to do is very gently just put a glue dot. I've got these glue dots. I'm just going to very gently take my Tweezer B tweezers 
and take one of these glue dots off. I'm going to very gently flex the cup and just stick that down inside there. Last thing we got to do is stick the poinsettias on here. They're still a little damp, but uh, much better than they were. So I think I'm going to put one of them. Just put a nice generous glob of glue. You could put a, a glue dot or something on the back of this one too, but I'm just going to use my Tombow glue and stick it on there and hold it for a second or two. There you have it. Another handy little cup. This was my other one that I had done and this is my new one. So what I did was I had gone to the dollar store because this is a little flimsy and I wanted to make it a little more stable. So I just went to the dollar store and bought these cheap plastic cups. And I just slid it down inside here. And then that allowed me to fill it up with whatever candy. This is what I did with this cup. I have um, put a hot cocoa, so you could put a hot cocoa mix in there. And I got a couple of these little coffee things. Um, Starbucks makes these little tubes. And then I got some peppermint sticks. You could use them as a stir stick. And then um, these cute little marshmallows. I just put them in a little tiny bag and put a pretty little twisty on them. And I'll shove that down in there. And now you have a pretty gift to give to a friend or a teacher or something like that. Um, those little marshmallows are these things. I just think they're totally adorable. So and I have a bonus thing that I have made. Uh, I wanted to give a gift card to my friend to go with her little coffee pack. So I made this gift card holder. It's from the Everyday Winter Cards and it's the reverse gatefold card. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, it opens up like this and it, the gift card slides in these little slots. It's really easy to put together. It's to use is a close to my heart stamp called Merriest Christmas Holiday and it's got these great um, sentiments. I don't know if you can, can you see those there? And I'm going to use this one that says wishing you the merriest Christmas and I haven't used this one yet. I'm going to pull it off my sheet and it says that I haven't used it. I'm gonna rub it on the back of my arm. You can use a eraser or something, but sometimes just the back of your hand is enough to condition the stamp. in here it even comes complete with a envelope to go with it um, but what a fun little gift so you can give your friend a, a gift card to Starbucks or their favorite local coffee shop and the little gift pack that might have some hot cocoa or chocolates or goodies or maybe you could roll up some socks or something and stick them inside there and give them gift card and socks um, but what a fun fantastic little gift so that was today's project I hope you enjoyed it and I I hope you enjoyed all of the projects that we did on this video hop. I hope we were able to inspire you to use these files to do much more than what um, they are shown to do. 
If you liked my video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you really like what I'm doing and that you want to see more. And if you like what you see, click that little icon up there in the corner and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming crafty videos. Uh, I just wanted to say one last time a huge shout out and thank you to SVG Cuts for all that they have done for us and for all that they have donated and we love their files and I could not have thought of a better way to showcase their hard work that they put into their files. So good luck to everybody and I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays to everybody out there and hope you have a wonderful weekend. Until I see you again, happy crafting! Bye! In, um, there's a uh, um, once you have all your code words you click and enter to win or to win <laughs> oh goodness gracious <laughs> hmm. okay start over everybody on if you've entered uh, uh, the I don't want to say it that way. <laughs> Maybe I can just move this closer and I can read it. If you click like, not like, <laughs> like isn't up there. In addition to the 20, in addition to the 20 gift cards, we now have 20 gift cards. <laughs>